Hi there, Richland here from Fierce Mommy Crafts. Hey, today I am sharing with you a kit that I purchased from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and I've had this for quite some time, and I'm finally getting around to starting to work on this. And this is the Madame Bovary kit that she um, put up on her site. And she had me at the cover of this book. I just absolutely fell in love. This book cover is so sweet and so feminine and, you know, yeah, it was just the cover, not the whole book, which is great because it saves on shipping. And she's in Canada. I'm in Alaska and uh, shipping can get to be expensive. But I decided I'm doing a super feminine, oh, you know, just lace and sewing and all kinds of wonderful little goodies for this particular journal here. So when she sends a kit out, she sends you all kinds of lace. I love this black lace here. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Seam binding, you know, ribbon, just a variety of different things to use in here. This color right here of this ruffle trim is so pretty and it will go so nice with this particular book and the pink also, it's just a really good choice. But she also puts in all kinds of little goodies. And some of them are a little too modern for this particular journal. I love this. I love this too. But a little too modern for this journal that I'm putting together. That's okay though. I'll use these in other projects. So I'm really happy about that. But little silhouettes. How sweet. I love these. These are the um, first day postage stamp envelopes they get in Canada. And this one here is from June 26, 1970. So this is a beautiful little envelope and I am going to use this in, in the journal. There's another envelope, let me reach and get that real quick. This one here, and I love it, but the stamp on here, when I saw it, I'm like, what the heck is that guy doing? It looks like he's on fire. So I had to turn the light on in here so I could read the fine print. And I, I, I in my mind, I went, the only guy I know on fire like that would be Sam McGee. That is exactly what it is. It's a Sam McGee stamp um, celebrating Robert Service and his poems. And we grew up reading that poem and memorizing it. So anyway, this one I'm going to give to my sister because she has a Robert Service poem book and she can put that in there. She'll love that. So lots of wonderful little lace doilies. Beautiful, beautiful doilies. Little die cuts. Love this. Little scraps. Cards. I love the um, garment tags. And of course, wonderful little crinkly bags. This one will go in. I won't put all of these in, but I will maybe use one of them. We'll see. But the inventory tags and the layaway tags, I love those. And little math flashcards, division flashcards. I do intend to use at least one or two of the guest checks. I love these. These really are nice. They're so sturdy, too. And she puts plenty in her packs. Some little cutouts to use. A nice size, longer, narrower um, glassing bag, which is perfect because the book itself is only four and a quarter inches wide. So I'm going to need to scale things down for it. But just all these wonderful little lovelies to use. And then, of course, some book pages. I love this. Money Making Affairs. This one here is for hot smoked tongue <laughs> spinach mold, which sounds terrible. Okay, so while we're, we have hot smoked tongue here, I have to tell you a funny story. <clears throat> Nothing to do with junk journals, but about uh, friendship. When I was 15, I met the most wonderful 85 year old woman in the whole wide world, Mrs. Cookins, Nona Cookins. I loved her so much. She was my dear, dear friend. And I miss her even now. I mean, all these years later. I'm talking, you know, like a really long time later, I still miss her. But one day when I was at her house, she was cooking a tongue, a beef tongue, which totally grossed me out because I was a vegetarian. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? She's like, you need to learn how to cook these things. You know, people need to learn because beef tongue is really good for you. I was just um, horrified. But I watched her go through the whole process of cooking this beef tongue. And 
in the end, she sliced up a little bit for herself. She's like, oh, do you want some? I'm like, oh, heck no, <laughs> absolutely not. But I came back the next day and she had, I have beef stew for lunch. And as soon as I looked at what was in the pot, I knew that it was tongue. So I picked vegetables out around it, around the meat. And she's like, you're not having any of the meat. And I looked at her, I said, Mrs. Cookins, I know that's that beef tongue. <laughs> She just laughed with a twinkle in her eye. She was so funny. But when I saw this, it immediately reminded me of her. So it might not make it into the Madame Bovary journal, but this I will definitely put in another journal. And I will write about that little story about her. She is such a dear person. So these pages feel wonderful too. And this is from Romeo and Juliet. I love that. That's going in the journal. More of Romeo and Juliet. But the other thing is that these papers here with the beautiful light blue and the red borderlining on the pinkish tones, uh, ledger paper, this is awesome because I think it's going to go really well with this particular journal. And also the graph paper is the same thing. It's that light blue, very smooth. I love it. That's a wonderful choice, Debbie Ann. More Romeo and Juliet, then here is uh, Outline of Literary History, and here is the uh, Dictionary Paper, and then these wonderful papers, which are old ledger sheets. So these are, these are fabulous, and these will go into the journal. And then she does little off-cut pieces that she has, and she's folded them in half to make it easy to ship, and just wonderful choices and the colors are perfect for this particular journal. I really love the selection. I'm so excited about working on this journal. I'm, I'm just like going crazy about it because I'm so happy I get the chance to start on it and um, and work on it. I love this. I love these papers together. And then of course there's the bigger pieces for the pages. So just like the little short pieces, um, but in a nicer size. I do have to cut them down though because they are pretty big. And then she also includes other things in her little packages. And you know, again, the nice big bag, which are great for lining the inside of the book, but this book has a wonderful um, inside cover. So I'm not gonna cover it up. A big time card, um, a health, something from a health book, a game page with different games, which I love that, a recipe book page, caraway ring cake and spicy pound cake. Those are awesome. And uh, these wonderful security envelopes. I love the green in there. So I am actually going to probably try to use one of these in the journal because I do like that color inside. So those are the wonderful goodies that she sent with this particular journal kit. And of course, I'm adding to it a bunch of other stuff. I had already pulled out some tags that I had pre-printed and I'm putting them, backing them onto a uh, piece of scrap coffee dyed paper, cardstock paper to make them a little firmer. I'm gonna sew around them. And then, of course, use some seam binding and add some lace decorative trim and whatnot to it. So those will be really pretty, I think, with this. And I have a giganto stack. I'm just going to shift it over here that I pulled out of extra things. I don't know if I'm going to need all of this or not, but I've got it piled up here ready to go. And I'm hoping to just get rolling on this project and then have it just kind of fly together because... It just, it's almost like it's telling me what it wants, this little book here. It's like, you know, it definitely, all the fluffiness of this, that's what's going to happen in this journal. So I just wanted to share that with you, a project before it happens. So you kind of get to see the before and after, and I hope you enjoyed that. And um, if you see Debbie Ann's kits up for sale, they are definitely worth it. And she ships out so quickly. Um... So, again, a Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and uh, she just really packs her little kits so full of wonderful, junky goodness, and uh, I'm excited about getting started on this. So, until next time, I hope you guys keep crafting, and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to hear. Leave me a comment below and tell me what you're working on. I get excited and inspired when I hear what other people are in, having the works, and... Um, 
you know, junk journaling, crafting of any kind, it's always good. Until next time, thanks for watching.